Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Look at Containment, the zombie puzzler. Now just by the title, you're probably aware that this is actually a vampire-based flight simulator uh, that also doubles as, uh, you know, like a football manager type game. Now obviously this is a zombie puzzle game. This is uh, recently available on Steam for the low price of $5, obviously $4 for this opening week sale. And without further ado, let's get started. We'll start the campaign mode, but campaign is very, very... Let's put it this way, it's a loose descriptor of the mode that you get here. Essentially, what you get here are, like, puzzle stages tied together by, like, just a text narrative that scrolls by. There's not, like, a real story mode in this game, it's very arbitrary. Uh, and we'll start on the... Um, whatever, I guess we'll start on the second level here, so that you guys can kind of get a feel for how the puzzling works, and once you get those kind of fundamental mechanics down, then we can get into some harder stuff. So you can see right here, this is how the story is told, and... You know, the story is not that important, but essentially what happened, there's a zombie apocalypse! As, you know, the story is in pretty much every zombie game. Now, we have several different types of units here. Cops are blue, soldiers are green, scientists are purple and yellow, and street punks are just yellow. And the way you kill zombies is by surrounding them with units of a single color, or units of a single type. Now, we also get different items that we can use. To attack the zombies, like for example, if we sometimes kill zombies with cops, we will get the sniper item that I just used right there. This is quite clearly ported from an iOS game, and it's not that there's anything wrong with that, but there's remnants of that uh, everywhere. Like, you see swipe to open crates? Like, one of the complaints about I have about this game is that swiping does not feel like a really natural motion to be making on a mouse. Why don't you just make it clicking? Anyway, so I've got these grenades. This might not be the greatest mission to show, because this is essentially just a tutorial about how to use these different items, but this is nice anyway. You'll basically get, get the gist for how this works. You see zombies, you surround them with units of a single type. Like, for example, switch the street punk with a scientist that will surround these guys down here. Swipe open that crate to get this Molotov cocktail, drop it in here, and that should kill all these zombies. Oh, not all the zombies, apparently. Switch the scientists, and then the scientists will get a kill here. Perfect. And we can move on. And now we'll see what item the scientists give, which is actually just like a biohazard suit. Uh, this game, you might have already been able to tell, I'm not a huge fan of it so far. I think it seems like a really cheap port. Uh, to the extent, like, I really can't get over the fact that they just didn't change things like swipe to open the crate. It seems like a minor gripe, but it basically shows you like how much work was put into this port. One second, I'm, I'm focused here, I can't get my criticism right. Switch this guy, and that should kill. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like it. it I, this is the kind of game that I can definitely see working on your phone, like on your trip, your bus ride to work or something. Um, that could maybe give you some kind of enjoyment. What am I doing here? Uh, like, yeah, the, like it could be an interesting diversion, but to actually sit down at like a computer and play this feels like a complete waste to me. Let me make sure that I get these guys dead. And we might be able to check out the survival mode, because there is another mode in this game as well. But for now, let's just murder these zombies. Now, one thing I will say is if we don't kill these zombies fast enough, then they will actually try to eat some of our scientists, soldiers, police, and street punks, which will cause the uh, infection to spread, which is, of course, why the game is called Containment. In fact, it does like a late title card thing, where it's like, our only hope, we can't stop the zombies, our only hope is... CONTAINMENT! Achievement unlocked for that, by the way. It also overly tutorializes things. And it doesn't seem like a pure puzzle game, like things like this... I don't know. Call me a purist. I'm more of a fan of, like, uh, you know, the, te the Tetris style of things. Let's electrocute these zombies. I always feel bad for this collateral damage. Like, with that electrical, uh, item. Always end up killing, like, some of my own guys, which kind of seems like the wrong way to do things. Call me crazy, though. What do I know about stopping the zombie apocalypse? I also kind of hate the name of this game. I kind of hate the premise and the name. Like, the only thing that's cool about this game is the name. It's like one of those Xbox Live indie games. It's like Zombie Minecraft times 10 version 4.0. Like, if... Why does it need to be a zombie puzzler? Couldn't they have just made this with gems or something? It's quite clearly just a bullshit marketing tactic. Ugh, oh, and I'm not happy that it's out on Steam either. Keep this kind of game where it belongs. I didn't even mean to kill those zombies there, that was a total accident. 
Pick up this grenade. Should allow us. Look, I'm gonna kill like four people just to kill these two zombies. At what point are we the animals and the zombies are the good guys? All right, that'll do it. And I think this is basically the end of this level, and then we can move on. Oh, I forgot that there's one more zombie going on here, who is thankfully just waiting. <laughs> Uh, the other thing is that it doesn't make sense that the zombies would just sit there. Like, am I right there? Is, I thought the whole thing is that they're relentless, and once they get you, then they're just, like, ravenous beasts. Could be wrong, though. Alright, we're gonna use our sniper to take out this guy, and then he'll become another zombie, I believe. Oh. Or not. There we go, okay. That's supposed to be like a big dramatic reveal. The scientists thought they had a cure, but then the cure turned them into another kind of zombie. It doesn't really make any sense. Anyway, let's go back to the main menu. Uh, and we'll check out... Check out the survival mode. I haven't played that yet. We'll do Town Hall Survival. Maybe this will be what turns this game around for me. And I mean, admittedly, the game is only five bucks. But this feels like the kind of game that should be a dollar on the uh, iOS App Store. And I mean, I'm not sure how much it is on the iOS App Store. It might be a dollar, but, uh, you know, five dollars. Again, just sitting down and playing this on a real computer seems so strange to me. So we're just gonna murder these zombies. Um, and that's basically all there is to it. We should surround this one over here. You can see that they also work their way in uh, from the sides sometimes. And this can be a problem, but I haven't really encountered too much in the game that seemed, like, insurmountable. Got a bejeweled-like cascade there. New item, uh, this is like a big airstrike. Again, it's gonna murder a bunch of my guys, but big deal, because we can just get more. The more just drop in Tetris style. Block one was pretty easy. Cool. Uh, A-plus survivor bonus, even though I actually immolated, like, three of the town's policemen, who you'd probably consider to be pretty valuable during a zombie apocalypse. Alright, let's surround these guys. Maybe get a big combo going on here. Oh, is that not enough? That should be enough then. Get a grenade. Murder uh, some of our town scientists. Surely uh, they wouldn't be better served trying to find a cure. Because if I've learned anything from zombie movies, it's that typically science is what causes the zombie apocalypse. In other words, uh... I don't want to talk to a scientist, because those motherfuckers be lying and getting me pissed. Let's surround this last zombie here. Pick up some sniper bullets. Only a B survivor bonus that time. I guess they're kind of running out of patience when it comes to my bullshit. I don't know what's up with the, the big gap in the middle here. That insinuates to me that possibly we have a big zombie coming. Or maybe they're just trying to mix up the, the geography here a little bit. But, in any case, that actually makes it easier to kill those zombies, because I have to get less people around them. Which is totally fine by me. But there's, there's starting to be a little bit of an outbreak down here on the bottom, so I'll use my Molotov cocktail to take care of that right away. No problems. Like I said, this seems to be a pretty basic puzzler. And I mean, like, on the, on the whole, its puzzling mechanics are not horrible. Another A+. I must be pretty good at this game, which is surprising considering I have about 15 minutes in it, all told. Uh, yeah, like, the puzzling mechanics are not bad, I'm just so cynical about the fact that this game exists. Like, why does it need to be called the zombie puzzler? Why couldn't it just stay on mobile devices? It seems like a good fit for mobile devices. I just can't picture anyone sitting down like buying this on Steam and being like, yeah, I would much rather play this than Plants vs. Zombies. Or I would much rather play this than fucking Bejeweled. Oh, I accidentally let some reverse containment happen there. Good thing we got the Molotov cocktails, though. It's just not a very, like, not a very replayable puzzle game. Let's put it that way. Did I not surround that guy? There we go. I am starting to lose out a little bit here. I mean, I guess that's why it's called survival mode. It's supposed to be a little bit more difficult. Could you really use some items, is what I'm thinking here. Oh, opened a garbage can. The zombie fell out. I hate when that happens. And actually, I'm looking at this and I'm feeling like I'm starting to lose it. I've really got to surround some zombies and hopefully pick up some uh, items. No, no, no! <laughs> Mr. Policeman, don't let the zombie eat you! Head crab zombies. Where... Is that... That should be surrounded right there. There we go. We get like four of them out of the way. Give me a Molotov cocktail, please. Or not. One more. Oh, there we go. There's three more down. 
And we got some sniper bullets. Fantastic. This maybe is going to allow me to do some containment. I really don't like this swipe to open thing. It feels so cheap. Uh, take out a big zombie there. This zombie here. Maybe I'll start surrounding with some uh, soldiers because I really need grenades. Oh god, I think, I think I've failed containing. Or maybe not. Let's get one more soldier over here. Yeah! That's the good stuff right there. <laughs> Survivor bonus D and time bonus D. I think those are both deserved. And round five. This will probably be where I end the video, like whenever I lose at this. I don't feel like there's much more to show of containment the zombie puzzler. We'll talk a little bit more about my impressions once I actually, you know, finish the video. Or once I once I finish this right here, but suffice to say, I think you can pretty much get a bead on how I feel about this game so far already. Let's get this down here, and one more soldier over here. We'll get two more hits. I don't know why that's a combo, and some of the other things I do are not combos. Question mark item. Let's drop this on Mr. Big Zombie here. Drop the TV on them. Really nasty way to go for somebody who survived the zombie apocalypse, then gets killed as collateral damage. As you can see, it's much faster, or much better to finish the level as quickly as possible, because one thing that is kind of not unique, but works is the fact that things get very hectic as time goes on. Similar to a Tetris, you can just get overwhelmed. Or Plants vs. Zombies, for that matter. Which uh, I'm going to compare this game to unfavorably many times, despite the fact that they're, they're different than that. Obviously, Plants vs. Zombies is more of a tower defense game. Still one of the premier puzzlers on Steam, of course. Let's drop this TV over here. Oh, it was a safe this time, okay. And that actually obstructs the geography of the level, which is something that I think actually works surprisingly well. In that the, the geography of the level does change a little bit as time goes on. Really need some more items here, though, or I am going to be totally boned. Need a scientist. Put him up here. Give me some hazmat suits, please. I think that's what that is. Let's protect these guys. And then we can use more scientists. Oh, God. No, we can't. What have I done? I've created a very bad situation is what I've done. I am failing at containment. Please give me a Molotov cocktail. Or an airstrike or something. Airstrike, that'll do. Okay, we got a really sick wave that we can take out here. I think I may actually survive this wave. Which is surprising to me, to say the least. Alright, my hazmat suits have run out. But, I got more scientists over here. And that means more hazmat suits. Which is probably like the worst item in the game, in my opinion. There goes my hazmats. I really prefer to some grenades just for like some crowd control. And that'll do it right there. Maybe we will actually survive this wave. Sorry, Mr. Policeman. But you had to die so that others may live. That's where where am I missing the surrounding here? Gotta figure that out quick. Oh god, switch the police officer with the Ah, there we go. Turned it around. And only one set left. Scientists really holding it down for me here with their uh, medical saws. Alright, wave six. Probably yeah, deserved the C's and D's there. Oh, round seven. I have a feeling I'm probably going to die here. If I don't die, I'll probably end it. Because I'm honestly running out of things to say about this game. What can you say? It's Containment, the zombie puzzler. It's a, a port of an iOS game. You know what you're getting into before you buy it, essentially. Or before you even check it out. So we'll do one more wave here. Try to give us... I don't know. I guess, like... The scientists seem pretty good at doing what needs to be done here. But I am not surrounding them appropriately. Oh, maybe I am. Which means more hazmat suits. Which will actually save that guy there, lucky me. But really, like, the hazmat suit seems like an unbalanced item. You really want to get grenades. As you can see, even though there is like some collateral damage, it doesn't really matter, does it? If my guys die, so be it. Got a cascade and a grenade, which builds into an airstrike, which is nice. Blow those guys up, pick up our airstrike, and bomb oh, almost all of the remaining zombies. This will do it, I think. Alright, 
right, so I succeeded there. Let's exit. Go back to the main menu, talk a little bit more about containment the zombie puzzler. As I mentioned, currently available on Steam for $4 this week, $5 normally. Should you buy this game? Um, not on Steam. You should uh, maybe buy it on your phone if it looks interesting to you. Again, I think this is an interesting diversion, but why would you ever sit down at your computer and play this? There's other puzzlers that are better than this, and this one just feels gimmicky to be honest with you. So, you know, zombies, blah blah blah, so cool, who cares? Pure marketing gimmick, this is just, you know, an ordinary puzzler. It seems fairly long, the campaign mode is devoid of any and all story, or any of all meaningful narrative, in that case. Survival mode seems alright, it seems a little bit more hectic and fun. And the game hands out achievements like nobody's business, so if you're an achievement whore, despite the fact that it doesn't give you any, like, tangible gamer score or anything, then by all means, feel free. It's only $5, but uh, I find it difficult to recommend this one, let's put it that way. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.